Hello Sharks, Snizz here, and today we are beginning a new quote-unquote playthrough of a bossing mule I have decided to create. Um, the Destiny patch has arrived, as we're all well aware of that by now, and this Ice Lightning has been in the works, and I'm just now getting around to editing the videos. Editing the videos. There was originally live commentary over this, but watching it back through, I am not good at live commentary, and I will probably stick to the post commentary where I feel where I'm more in control of what I can say. The Shark Speaks are kind of a one-off series that I've been doing, and I feel like I flow better there because I actually have topics listed out. I just tried playing and talking, and that did not work out well for me. Um, so in the background right now, you can probably see that I'm making a character. The name I chose is Twisty Truth. There's actually a story behind that name, because for those that may know me and may know a guy named Tim, you may have heard of Linear Lie, but now get ready for Twisty Truth. Uh, Linear Lie is a... was the old name of a close friend of mine, and he is one of the top explorer mages in the server right now. He's 60k badgeless, he's pretty, he's pretty big. Uh, so... We are hoping to at least... Not, we're, we're not going to remotely stand up to where he is, but we're hoping to at least create this and turn this into a normal Lotus Damien Mule. I have set a few restrictions on myself, or one primary restriction on myself. Because I do realize as being as an established player as I am, I have access to Lynx, Legion, and all that jazz. I have omitted the ability to use the storage system. That means I can't pull out buffs, I can't transfer meso, I can't transfer nodes, so... It is solo progression in a sense, but I'm not going to title that the video. I'm not going to title this video that because I don't think that's honest to the type of video I am creating. So, what I have realized is that the Explorer prequests are awful. This is a terror burning character, so I will be getting terror burning rewards and. Explorer prequest is long. I just do not like it. I don't like questing in this game, and especially since I don't like reading because I'm an Eternal member. Uh, Eternal doesn't know how to read or spell. We're kind of illiterate in that guild, but I digress. It is quite the obnoxious thing, and seeing as how if I were on a new account, I'd have to do this, you know, how many times? 15 different times? Okay, not 15, because you have the Dual Blade, the Pathfinder, and... Cannon Master, which will probably have slightly different beginnings, but for the most part, you'd have to do it over 10 times. I get real tired of this real quick. So I'm glad Korea added a uh, story skip feature for this. Um, but other than that, like, questline takes you right to level 30, where in this case, since I'm Terra Burning, right to level 40, and we are on our way. I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to cover in this first video because. I'm just not sure, but for the most part, Ice Lightning and all the Explorer Mages are jacked classes. I chose Ice Lightning mainly for the mobbing, but I do know the bossing is ridiculous too. Uh, it's not necessarily as great as Fire Poison in the bossing department, but the mobbing is a lot simpler. I have not played post revamp, re post remaster Fire Poison, so I can't comment on that mobbing, but I hated Fire Poison mobbing, mobbing before the patch, so I didn't really feel... I'm biased against it. Um, I don't really want to try it even because I hated it so much getting it to level 200 for that, you know, one or two percent extra MP that it gave me. But I digress. Uh, Ice Lightning has always was uh, one of the original classes I played way back uh, when I first started playing this game over a decade ago. Uh, for reference, I'm like 23 now. I think I started playing this game when I was like eight or ten can't remember exactly my memory's kind of foggy but uh ice lightning definitely got the love it deserved uh but it was already a decent class before then explorer mages are kind of tangent right now but explorer mages have always been like the pinnacle of oh this class excels at a certain category and i don't believe in the class category system I don't believe we are a Trinity MMO. There is no such thing as a support class. There's no such thing as a DPS class. There's no such thing as a tank class. You do all three at once or you don't do any of them at all. You, you, if you don't excel at one of them, you're just a bad class. And uh, it's it's even more relevant because when Kana was, Kana is an overloaded kid. And yes, it's gotten nerfed. So it's like a 
it's an average damage dealer now. Like the high end big Kana mains who were abusing some bugs got like the 30% damage nerf. Uh, they're still an average class. Like my Thunderbreaker is barely able to keep up with them. Like I'm just keeping up with Kana in my Saren party and he is cracked out of, out of his mind in gear. So the fact that I'm keeping up with them just shows that they're they're average damage now, but they still have insane support. I promise I'm going to conclude on this tangent, but uh, what I was getting at is the uh, original explorers, not the original original, but uh, pre prior to the remaster, Bishop was a support class, Fire Poison was a bossing class, and Ice Lightning was a mobbing class. They augmented that a bit going forward, and now with the remaster, their identity is not poorly set in being a support, a bosser, and a mobber. Because... Frankly speaking, it's stupid to do that, especially when the Black Mage Liberation missions came out and it was originally solo. There's, I think, a top bishop in KMS, like one of the first clears of Black Mage, quit when he got to his hard will liberation because he couldn't fucking do it. The game is not designed or it has not been designed or catering towards the idea of let's party play and let's have support roles, tank roles and DPS roles. It just hasn't been a thing for the longest time. And the fact that they're reinforcing the idea that you need to go in solo content for the most bang for your buck completely tells the story that, hey, class archetypes are nice in like identity wise, but they don't work really. You can have an identity without having to be forced into the, a role, if that makes sense. Um, and it was most egregious with the Explorer Mages because of open job advancement. You could switch between the three depending on your needs, but you know, this bishop in, uh, the bishop I'm talking about, I don't even know if he exists, but it's what I've heard. This bishop that I'm referencing, he could have swapped to fire poison or ice lightning and blew up hard will in the allotted time as far as I'm aware. Or I would guess because those classes, uh, fire poison is a disgusting bossing uh, DPS class. I'm imagining he could have done it even when the hard, hard will timer was 20 minutes. But if you love your class so much, you don't want to swap. And like, I'm kind of a diehard for that. Like some people are like, quote unquote, for lack of a better term. Uh, no, this is, I, that's probably a really bad term to use, but I'm going to say it anyway, like uh, slut about it. Like, you know, they just switch whenever, which is perfectly fine. I have nothing against them. Uh, but like some people are just more open to swapping than uh, others. And that creates this uh, effect in the explorers where they didn't have to make them balanced equally. They could just roll, do them as roles and the remaster really set that aside and got rid of that, which is good. I don't think it was a good idea, of, not necessarily from the beginning, because when Maple Story first started out, it was, it was more of a support role. There were support roles, like Bishop was the only support, but for the most part, there was like they were looking into doing roles in the game. But like nowadays, now you just have, you have your final damage suppliers, and they also do damage. You have your DPSs who also might support supply some support. And most classes do supply some support to some extent or have some utility. The classes that don't are tend to be seen as the worst classes. So classes such as your Thunderbreaker who only have SI as party support, no debuff, no nothing, aren't seen as a top tier class even though they're doing decent damage now. Mind you, the fact is Thunderbreaker does no burst, but still I digress again. So this was originally supposed to be about creating a bossing meal and the goal is, and that tangent aside, the goal is to create a bossing meal. Uh, the goal is to go up to normal Lotus and normal Damien because I feel that is where you get the most bang for your buck with for funding. Uh, once I kill normal Lotus, normal Damien, I will probably be accepting carries and such because I will consider the series done. This will be a 250 mule, but I don't think you'll see this thing go to 250. I think you'll see it go to 235 kill at at highest 235 uh, during the series, and then you'll also see me kill uh, normal Lotus, normal Damien, and then the series will be over. Uh, I did consider not taking advantage of events, but I think that's stupid because any player in their right mind would take advantage of events, should take advantage of events to progress as fast as they can. Especially since this game is such a marathon, you want to take shortcuts where you can. Um, but other than that, we'll we'll see where it goes. Um, I my gear right now, as it stands, where I am, like in game, is not good. I think I just have the CRA gear and a few boss items. Like I, I don't think I'm even five set boss. I think I'm like four or so. 
three because there's no four set boss effect boss accessory set effect and then of course four set cra So you might want to know where I've been training, and for the most part I've been using the Maple Guide because like I said I'm not using storage, so I didn't pull out any money to buy a Hyper Teleport Rock, so I was just kind of following the Maple Guide, which, to Nexon's credit, the revamp to the Maple Guide has been splendid. It's super useful now. You don't need a Hyper Teleport Rock to get around if you know how to navigate the Maple Guide effectively. You can get to almost any major town within seconds. Uh, so I used that to level to 200, and using some of my prior knowledge of where I should train. Also trying to abuse the fact that since Legion changed, you can spec into 40% normal monster damage. So even though I was under leveled to some mobs and not really well geared or, you know, had any potentials, uh, I was still training at areas that were within level range to get that 20% multiplicative bonus to the base EXP. Uh, for those that don't know, if you are plus one or minus one the, uh, the level between one level uh, plus or minus of the mob you're fighting, you get a 20%, I believe, multiplicative bonus to the base EXP, which is then further multiplied by all your EXP buffs. Other than that, uh, you will notice I'm using a back pet in this. Uh, my Shadower is uh, tentatively my second main right now. Uh, it was originally going to be a Cannon Master, but uh, I, that fell through, so doing Shadow right now. Maybe I'll swap again, probably to a hero, because that has a Sengoku badge, but that's another topic for another time. But I do have a Vac pet on those characters, on the Explorer branch, so I might as well use it. I did invest in the pet snack because I think three, I thought three pets was going to be useful, but then uh, where I am now, I see I'm not using the auto buffs. I'm using like two slots or maybe three, and the third one's just kind of like quality of life because you don't really need to auto buff maple warrior but i am uh i'm trying to think because like i don't have a lot of information because like a lot of information that i think is like you know common sense or whatnot is probably not common sense to like the new player and it's really hard for me to make that dis distinction nowadays so i went to lnl fairy academy at some point and did like the theme dungeons i would highly recommend doing the theme dungeons unless you're set up and can like you know completely ignore them but like I only I did them for a little just because I didn't have money to buy a hyper teleport rock and the maple guy was telling me to go there. But the theme dungeons are a very very solid uh, place to level from like you know level thirty to like sixty or seventy or whatever. Um, other than that, I try to abuse tr grinding maps because that's what I am at heart is just a just a kind of a grind lord. Uh, didn't get where to I am now by, you know, dilly-dallying and just doing daily bosses, but, you know, I digress. Uh, I'm, I've been speaking for almost 15 minutes, or 13 minutes now, so... Don't know how much longer I can keep this up, because there's only so much I can talk about in this first episode. Grinding was just follow the maple guide, level up your skills accordingly. The new Ice Lightning is pretty crazy. Uh, even in second job, the Thunderbolt was really nice. Ice Strike has, or Cold Beam has a decent hitbox in front of you and pretty high vertical range. New Teleport's fantastic. Uh, even though I don't think it got changed much on Explorers, except for the fact you can teleport into walls now. Uh, meaning, if you are less than the max distance, you can teleport still, and it'll just put you up against the wall, which you could not do before on any class except for Battle Mage, I believe. Kana still does not have this feature, but Kana's not KMS, so understandable, even though it's not really understandable, it's just kind of a growing pain or, you know, something we've come become accustomed to. Really shouldn't settle for it, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna try and play the background stuff in, like, triple speed or maybe even four times speed because like i'm watching it now i'm only at the lnl fairy academy from all the clips i recorded because i recorded them in 30 minute segments thinking that was a smart idea but it really wasn't uh so i'll try and condense and maybe do clip format from now on because this is gonna this is gonna require a lot more editing than i want to do Prequest wise, since you can skip the majority of them, I didn't do any. I don't think I'm going to do the Afterlands. Totems are nice, but they're not a big enough damage bonus in my mind to warrant going for them, especially with like where my links and Legion are. At currently, I don't need that much uh, 
that much extra damage because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to see solo CRA in just the CRA gear and like, you know, five set boss along with like a 15% IED familiar and my links and I think that will be enough to do CRA. I, mean, I can probably, it, I don't know if it'll be super comfortable, but it, it should be doable. I'm not really good at gauging min clears because I don't do a lot of min clears. The last min clear I did was a hard Damien solo on my Kana pre-nerf. And the only reason I did it was because it was the liberation mission and I wanted to at least get to the point where I can do a hard will if I need to, if I want to liberate that Kana, which realistically speaking, I don't really care to. Um, I just wanted to have the option available to me. But other than that, we'll just see where this goes. I Again, I plan to get to 235 at some point during the series at the highest, and then I also plan to do normal Lotus, normal Damien, those are the goals. I won't be using the storage system to, you know, give myself uh, a crutch or a handicap, I guess. Uh, or I guess, yeah, to, to, I guess to handicap, is that the right word? I don't think it is, but yeah, to, to limit myself, because I realize that nodes are such an important part of your damage, especially now that I've hit fifth job. But like not having access to them kind of sucks. I'm two shotting, even though I could be one shotting in my gear if I just had max nodes. It's pretty crazy, dude. Nodes are a huge amount of damage, literally doubling the damage of your over doubling the damage of your attacks, if depending on the job they're they are in. Sometimes tripling. But with that all said, I will see you sharks in the next episode.